Abby and I are at the airfield today with the Valiant. We're both gonna fly on this very, very eerily calm Saturday. Now, yeah, the big plants are shut down all around us and it's so peaceful and quiet. Listen, birds are chirping. Yeah, it's nice. It's been so, it's been so loud at our airfield lately. Uh, to get in a couple flights with this plane. She's gonna get on the sticks and so am I. This is one of our favorite well-rounded planes that we just both enjoy flying a lot. We're both getting braver with each flight that we do on this one, uh, especially Abby. And, and uh, we're just wanting to have some fun today. We've, we've seen that some states are shutting down borders uh, and like, you know, not really borders, but like mandatory non-travel. By the time you guys are seeing this, that may have been implemented countrywide, I don't, I don't know. Uh, things are getting tighter and tighter, and so this very well could be one of our last large plane flights for some time. We hope not, uh, but if it is, let's just soak in the moment and enjoy it. Abby, ladies first, see All you right. fly. Abby's at the sticks. Maybe one last flight for a while. I told Nate, um, to get a plane charge today. So this is the same day that we have driven the two crawlers and we made the course. We did the two crawlers and I said, get a plane charged. Cause just with everything going on in the world, nothing is predictable right now, <laughs> except staying at home. <laughs> it's the only thing that's predictable in our lives. I feel like right now. So I said, let's get a plane going so we can fly and just enjoy being outside. So I charged. Four 3S2200 smart batteries. And Look I how said, slow that can fly. Oh, it's beautiful. You don't even have flaps on. No, <laughs> I don't use flaps hardly at all. Um, and I said, Abby, do you want to fly the Valiant or the uh, Air Scout? Yes, that's and what you asked. <laughs> she said Valiant, so this was Abby's choice. Yeah, I've been getting really comfortable flying the Valiant, especially low, as you should be able to, unless Nate's like, no, there we go. Zoomed I was zoomed in. Like, in. You're pretty, low. I'm pretty close to the tree line. You are low. Like, low distance wise. Stand a little closer to me here, Abby. <laughs> I'm worried maybe people can't hear you sometimes. And like, so when I'm not on camera, I've been practicing figure eights. Look at that, right hand turns. So I can get practice on. Both sides. A little more throttle. Here. See, there yeah. you go. Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry. You're good. You saved it. Recover. And you're in safe right now, right? Oh yeah, I'm in safe. But it's just a matter of getting comfortable. And that's what I need. I really need to get comfortable flying low. You guys know that. <laughs> if you've followed us for yeah. a while. Seven years. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You fly high in the sky, you ain't gonna crash. <laughs> Although I still somehow find a way too. Uh, only, only when I push you. That's really the only time you crash. You're pulling. There you go. She pulled it out of safe. And forgot how to fly for a second. <laughs> I <laughs> knew. Then, and then I did a loop. I saw you moving the right stick around like crazy. I forgot that the wing wasn't gonna level up itself. <laughs> I'm still not in safe. Good job. I'll do another loop here. Cool. In a second. Okay. <laughs> And it's just an awesome plane, Abby. Oh, yeah. It's one of the best you can get for your money, really. Especially if you're a Spectrum flyer like that we are. That's safe now. As you can see, the wing snaps back. And that nice, yeah. this auto level. Nice and safe. Aptly named. I think aptly is the right word. <laughs> it's just so nice to be out here flying a plane. I'm just going to shut up for a second. Sweet job, Abby. <laughs> that was scary. And we can hear I the feel like I don't do very many rolls on this plane. That may be one of the first you guys have even seen me do on this plane. I'm not sure. If you can... See, I, I feel very strongly that if you can fly this, you can fly any of the warbirds that I fly, and even the jets, because they're no more difficult than this is. They just seem intimidating because it's a jet, or it looks like a jet, and it has missiles and bombs on it <laughs> instead of... <laughs> Pretty in blue and white. I mean, they definitely go faster. I mean, I've seen you slow yeah, it down. Yeah. I've seen you slow it down. But if you cranked it, this one flies fast too. We yeah. did speed test on it, and it was like, oh, what do yeah. we get? 70 miles an hour, 65, somewhere uh, around there. I just know I was surprised. I was really speed. surprised too. And the jets are only booking like 
35 to 40 miles an hour faster. I don't know about that. Not at full speed. Oh, faster. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think I said? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I, I thought you meant just like that's how fast they were going 30 to 40 miles. No, like, no, no. <laughs> faster top speed. That's top speed. So, uh, this plane, guys, too. Abby, we've got a lipo alarm in there. I like to do that when I'm flying it because I fly it kind of hard and I'm going to fly it in the same video. After Abby lands, I'll take this plane up and put it through the ropes. And um, yeah, Abby can probably get like a 15, 20 minute flight on this easily. I tend to get about a seven or eight minute flight on it, just how I fly. This is literally like the only car. Right now you're gonna hear a car going by. That's the only car we've heard go by today. It's just crazy, guys. There, some figure eights. Nicely done. Thanks. Nice and tight too. I'm just not even zooming in and out. I was just for that part. I'll show you guys, this is kind of my perspective. Now obviously, line of sight, I can see that airplane, it looks huge from my perspective, but you guys being zoomed out all the way. I just want you to see how low Abby's flying now. It's getting a little dark, I think. There. She's doing a great job. About the lowest she's ever flown this consistently. I've been practicing. See, been by practicing. me staying zoomed out like this, I can actually look up and enjoy Abby flying some too. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not easy to record an airplane flying fairly unpredictably through the air at times on a little two inch screen on bright days that's really hard to do because you can't really see the settings very well now the timer you're hearing is a five minute timer that i have set on that radio my last two passes have actually been failed landings oh <laughs> i'll fess up <laughs> mm. well, i just felt like i was going a little fast okay you got it I'm going to brighten it up some. Let's everybody be quiet. Nice. Nice, Abby. That's okay. You got it. You, that, was, that was literally a perfect landing. There was no bounce. You greased it in. It just doesn't get any better than that. Do you want to fly on the spatter? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll just... Turn it around for you. That's fine. I can take off anywhere with the flaps on that thing. Okay, now you guys are going to see good camera work. <laughs> You were gonna say good flying. I was like, hey now. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> you flew great. That was that was enjoyable to watch. Thanks. Alright. I'll go full this. flaps and I guess you have safe on. Let's turn that off. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, flaps are up. I didn't need that at all. My hands are actually really, really cold yeah. right now. It got so warm there for a while. We had really pretty days. Watch this. This is fun. Ready? Here we go. Yow, 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 yow. Yeah, that's your favorite thing to do with this. On this it? plane, yeah. Because it does it so well. And, and blue, you can see that. blue planes on this sky just don't look good. <laughs> well, it's weird because line of sight, I can see this puppy no problem. Oh, camera is what I'm talking yeah. about. Camera. Yellow planes, red planes, they show up on the camera better. And honestly, they, 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 they're they good in real life too, but. Yellow planes are one of my favorites. Yeah. I would say pink or purple, but well, they don't, they don't really have an all purple. It's just like white with a little bit of purple. But yeah, they need pink planes. This plane can knife edge really well too. Just a matter of can the pilot. And then it can climb out of it. Yeah, this is a fun move. Cause then you. There was one video uh, you explained how you were doing that on. Remember? Uh, Woo! Uh, yeah. Should have well, zoomed basically out. Basically a snap roll without. Here, watch. We'll do a snap roll with it, right? That's pretty much just a snap roll as you're falling out of the sky. Ah, oh, this is just so much fun. I'm glad we're out here, Abby. It's a good day. It is a good day. Flies inverted well. I still, for some reason, get just a little bit uncomfortable when I'm flying upside down. It just makes me nervous. I, I don't know why, because I can do it. Just because you got to think about it more. <laughs> nice outside loop. This is just a very capable plane. The, it's probably one of the most well-rounded planes ever uh, on the market, just because it, it's a wonderful trainer plane. Right. And it can do a lot of stuff can do a whole lot of stuff. 
that you really wouldn't think it could do. I imagine that this plane, I mean, it's been out for a little while. It's probably not gonna be around forever at this price at least. Buy one, if you don't own a Valiant, it's, it's just, it's kind of like one of those must haves in your airplane lifetime. The Valiant is just such a sweet plane. So oh. I, I knew that would get you. <laughs> so, uh, we'll do an outside loop out That there. was terrible for me, not you. I was not expecting you to just go upside down like that all of a sudden. <laughs> what else can I do with this puppy? I'm just really enjoying the peace and quiet. I know. I'm still talking a lot, but probably not as much as I normally would be. Well, you all have seen us fly this plane fly a, lot. a handful of times, probably at this point. Yeah. So there's not much more for us to talk about other than just how much we like this plane. Especially plane. me. I like this plane a lot. I like it. <laughs> You're killing me. Right, we'll I like it because we can both fly it. Right. It's a really well-rounded plane for both of us to continue to learn on even though i'm doing stuff that i'm pretty comfortable with every time you're in the air you're learning something right just try and uh, occasionally you just push the sticks a different direction and see what happens and when i got this plane i bought it for you yeah i also knew <laughs> I'd enjoy it too and i'm really glad that you've uh taken to it so well you know what, Nathan? What? You remember that plane you bought from somebody? You never flew it for I know, people. I know. I wanted to. I thought about. We, uh, I thought about bringing that one out today. We should do that. The next plane we fly, you should do that one. Right. What do you think of that? I can do that. I've got a a new plane in the lineup that needs to get done, if we can. Instead of that one. Yeah. Oh. And it's pretty exciting. They're both going to be awesome planes. I, and I knew today was windy, windy-ish at least. It's more calm than I. Thought it was going to be so i didn't want to i didn't want to fly that one today the one you're talking about yeah this is are you all confused plan. now <laughs> with our our planning of the next videos to come to the channel <laughs> this is just a 3s 2200 milliamp smart battery bear in mind abby just left the plane out there after her five minute flight oh yeah the battery is amazing really awesome it's an efficient airplane I hear a real airplane. That was a zero throttle inverted pass, by the way. That's cool. I've missed the peace and quiet up here. I know. Remember when we could hear the cows all the time? Yeah. I don't think the cows are out right now. I really miss it. I know the airfield chose to put it here in an industrial parkway. So it was bound to happen someday. I miss it. And this being Saturday, this is the quietest the road has been here because of all the... I mean, I do think that people are staying home because of the coronavirus. I know they are because a lot of our patrons that I text and I check in on are telling me, yes, staying home, being careful. Um, but I also know there's a lot of goobers out there that are out and about. I'll tell you what, I think Millennials, which Nate and I technically are classified as millennials, I think they're taking this more serious than like the baby boomer generation or whatever as a whole. Yeah, like I feel like we've had to lecture our parents and our uh. your grandmas about staying home, <laughs> but no one's had to lecture us about it. We're just doing it. I don't know. I just feel so worried about um, where is that. It's behind the clouds. The clouds are pretty low today, so. Yeah. There's a full scale. Sounds like they're right above us, which they're not supposed to be flying above our field, but I don't you know how that are. goes. I don't think they are. Sounds like it. If they are, they're well over 400 feet. Yep. Is my lipo alarm going off yet? I thought we'd put through, <laughs> pack through this for everybody, but I'm thinking just the one. Yep. Wow. There, oh, that was really nice. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> You're probably that gonna juice cool your battery spot. dead Here, on watch, that. Watch this. Could you tell the difference on that snap? Do ball? it one more time. Okay, I'll do it this way. That was with power and it rudder. It sounded in the same crazy. Direction. That was cool. I could hear a difference. 
Yeah, we're doing some different That's cool. stuff with it. Like it. Like it. Just getting more brave with it. I tend to do my snap rolls the same way every time. What are you saying, Abby? You should land it. Oh, yeah. Well, I have a lipo. My on. hands are freezing. Right, are too. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring it down. It's cold out, guys. We thought we'd fly two packs on this, but you know what? I am going to, you know, I'll, I'll leave safe off. I'll leave safe off. We'll put Can you on beat my landing? With uh, safe off? Yeah, yeah. I think so, except I'm going to land right to left. Okay. Because I have a little breeze coming in. Actually, I had a breeze coming in too, but it was opposite way. Right. It's shifting. Okay, let's do it. Flaps are on, safe is off. Can I beat Abby's landing? <laughs> I hope so. I landed with safe. Oh, I think. That was pretty good. You guys, you guys let us know who won. Who won. <laughs> we'll replay both landings right here for you. Okay. You guys pick. Okay. Who had the better landing? <laughs> Wonder who had the better camera work. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. I'm going to brighten it up some. Let's everybody be quiet. Nice, nice, Abby. That's okay. You got it. You, that was that was literally a perfect landing. Thanks. Okay, let's do it. Flaps are on. Safe is off. Can I beat Abby's landing? <laughs> I hope so. I landed with safe. Oh, I think that was pretty good. That you went guys, bad. you guys, let us know. Went bad. Valiant. That, that's just so much fun. The lipo alarm is not going off. What I find surprising is, yeah, it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit out, okay? And Abby and I have the lipo bag with four batteries in it sitting on a very cold metal table. <laughs> it's not good for your batteries. I mean, it's not good for a long flight time on your batteries. Some people say you can warm your batteries up in your car a little bit, go fly. For race drones, you do see a significant improvement usually uh, you know, if it's really cold out, two minute flight, hey, you might get a three minute flight on a race train when you do that. I don't know that I would encourage that. The point is they've been sitting out in the cold for at least a half hour. So when we flew this off of a full charge from about an hour ago, but that's an amazing flight time. Listen. <laughs> My lipo alarm is not going off yet and we are at least 13 or 14 minutes in the air yeah plus the way i was flying it that's amazing i don't know if i've ever gotten that good of a flight maybe that's like one of my newer batteries i don't know that's that was wonderful <laughs> i thank god for giving us the opportunity to be out here today to fly and share this experience with you guys uh it's very i don't know <sighs> it's overwhelming to think that we might not be able to do this again tomorrow we don't know what is to come tomorrow. So be thankful for today. Do something positive if you can, while you can, and just stay positive. Do, do something that makes you happy within the confines of your own house, if, if you're able to. If not, use YouTube for that. That's why we're at the here, that's why we're here at the field flying today. To, so you guys that can't get out and fly can at least enjoy some flying uh, in the meantime. I will say this, if you don't own a Valiant yet, even if your state is on lockdown or your city's on lockdown and you just can't get out and fly, you know, God willing, this is not gonna last forever. I really don't think it will last forever. It's just gonna be some trying times in the near future for all of us. Uh, I'd still pick one of these up while you can because They're it's fun. one it's of fun. the best airplanes ever. Okay, it really is. And I highly recommend pairing it with a Spectrum radio. If you don't own one, now's a good time to learn a new radio language. Let's say you're a tactic guy or a Futaba guy and you know you love your radio. Now's a good chance to learn a new one. This, the learning curve on these is not very steep. You do it once or twice and, and you got it under control. We have some videos telling you how to bind new airplanes to this radio too. So pick one of these up if you don't already have one. It's an amazing setup. That's what I'm getting at. We'll have all of our favorite batteries and chargers and all that good stuff linked in the description box below with this. I sincerely thank you guys for watching, letting the ads roll, because by you doing that, you are helping the economy. You're actually helping to feed us right now. Again, in these trying times, it's just, it's a rough time for everybody. Thank you very much. A huge thank you, a sincere, sincere thank you to the, the names that are scrolling by right now. Those are some of our top tier patrons and the names in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for everything you do for us. 
before you completely click away, I'm sure Abby and I have another airplane video we can show you popping up right about now. We'd love for you to check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!